State of emergency has been issued for people in Monroe County, in Montgomery County, in Carroll County, along with Humphreys and Sharkey counties. The storms that moved through Mississippi last night left catastrophic damage. Mississippi Emergency Services is confirming 23 people have died, multiple injuries, and at least four people are missing. We can confirm two deaths in the Wren community from Monroe County Coroner Allen Gurley. Now, Mobile Command Post rolled into Amory, setting up to help local responders. This is what people who live in the area saw when daylight came. Twisted lines, legacy trees uprooted, and as the sun came up, rescue and recovery efforts continued. Columbus Fire Chief Dwayne Hughes tells WCBI that Mississippi Task Force teams answered primary searches on 911 calls in Amory last night. This includes from Columbus, Starkville and West Point. Now that team was called to Rolling Fork this morning to aid in the search for people believed to be trapped in the rubble where two restaurants have collapsed. Now the people of Amory have come together following the catastrophic tornado that ripped through the Monroe County community last night. WCBI's Chad Groening was there and has more. A war zone that best describes a vast swath of Amory following a tornado that swept across the state. Trees were down everywhere, and that meant the familiar sounds of chainsaws. Amory Mayor Corey Glenn says about 40% of the community was heavily damaged. It is catastrophic, as you can see there behind you. At this time, we've not identified any casualties in Amory proper. Uh, we do know that on the peripheral outside in the county that we do have uh, some potential casualties out there in a small way, a couple, maybe maybe three, and one's too many, obviously. They're, they're family members, and uh, you know certainly our heart and it goes out to those people. While human suffering was thankfully low, the same cannot be said for property. Power lines were down everywhere, and many trees were uprooted. Willie Lopez and his family were forced to hunker down. About 11 o'clock, I told my wife to get some pillows and blankets and stuff to put into the bathroom. And we got our dogs, three dogs, my wife, her son. New baby. New baby. We just loaded up, got in the bathroom. We just, yeah. Uh, how, what did you hear? Was it scary? Were you, were you guys? It was scary. We had dogs barking, the little daughter crying, and everything like that. We heard debris hitting all around us and stuff like that. So it was really scary. Renee Hankins' house sustained heavy damage. Well, I wasn't here, thank goodness. Uh, my roommate was here and she was in the bathroom. And so she's okay and it was just loud noises, she said, and snapping, but uh, everything, pretty much my house is on this side is destroyed. Yeah, obviously dev a devastating situation. Very, very, it's terrible, terrible. Looks like a war zone. And the devastation wiped out Amory High School's baseball, softball, and football fields. The defending state 3A baseball champion Amory Panthers no longer have a field to defend their title on. In fact, they had to dig through the rubble to recover the state championship trophy. As you can see, our athletic facilities are in bad shape. Uh, I figured we'd probably be playing our games on the road for the rest of the year. And the high school itself sustained some roof damage, leaving it unclear as to whether students can return to class on Monday. All of the town of uh, north part of Amory is no power and no water. So uh, that's another factor that we've got to deal with too. So uh, we'll just examine where we are and, and figure out what's the, when we can get our students back. Just ask the, the surrounding communities, keep us in their thoughts and prayers. And, and there's a lot of people here that are suffering, a lot of people here that are going to be in need. Uh, there's a time to come in and help. Right now is not necessarily the time. Uh, still in assessment phase. Uh, it is a little bit dangerous still here right now. But in the coming days, we certainly solicit people to come in and help us out. Telling your story in Amory, I'm Chad Groening, WCBI News. All right, thank you, Chad. And the city of Amory is asking people who want to donate or volunteer to please wait until crews have cleared the roadways, restored power, and search efforts are completed. We'll have more information on the school situation as soon as it becomes available.